I think for me and the entire patient or advocacy community, having such technologies would do a couple of really good things. If these things are available to patients, they can start their lives as early as possible, just get the right diagnosis, get the right treatments, and just saving a few months or a few days might seem very tiny to others, but to patients, it means a lot, a lot. So I think we are currently in a changing phase. This technology gets available in high incidence TB settings and can be really used to improve patient care. So we are on our way to get diagnostics done by sequencing for patient care. And I think that's a big change in our uh, way how we do TB diagnostics. And in some settings, that's potentially the only way to do diagnostics for the new drugs that are just put out for treatment regimens. So way back in 2019 itself, following the WHO catalog, we were the first one you can say in India, which worked with the target sequencing platforms. We showed the utility of target sequencing and we said, yes, we can think about using this upfront in the diagnostic mode. See, as a policy maker, we'll generate evidence for India by taking cultures from all across the states and we are doing whole genome sequencing. If we have certain mutants, how specific are these mutants in the Indian scenario? Are they associated with resistance? And clinically, do I need to change? We have uh, our uh, supranational lab at Chennai. We have already released the first mutation catalog for India specific and we are awaiting the second mutant uh, mutation catalog, which will have much more uh, cultures from all across India, which will give me much more concrete evidence that yes, this mutation in Indian scenario is associated with resistance. If we think of in a research setting, there's still a lot to go into to implement NGS into clinical research settings. I can see in the future that we're going to do, we're going to focus mostly on NGS as a diagnostic for tuberculosis. So as a researcher, the availability of such a test uh, for uh, the diagnosis of TB drug resistance is gratifying. And this is due to the fact that this tool is providing a lot of information at a genetic level. So it really is useful as well at a basic research level. By using these tools, we were able to discover, for instance, several strains that represented new lineages of the m tuberculosis complex and that was unexpected at the beginning. The pandemic really made a difference in terms of the availability and the installed base and the sheer access and capacity for countries around the world, including low and middle income countries, to be able to do sequencing. I think it's so important that the countries are able to leverage this technology now for TB. TB is a curable, treatable disease. We want to make sure there's equity of access to these tools in all countries so that we can fight drug arrest and TB, get the right treatment for the patient as early as possible. And this is one of the best ways to do it today. I think for me and the entire patient or advocacy community, having such technologies would do a couple of really good things. If these things are available to patients, they can start their lives as early as possible, just get the right diagnosis, get the right treatments, and just saving a few months or a few days might seem very tiny to others, but to patients, it means a lot, a lot. I think to everyone else, I would say this is do what it takes, make sure these technologies get to patients, they need it.